Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have something very, very important to share with you as it relates to using the law of assumption, manifesting things into your life. And if you've ever had an instance where you failed at creating something big because you gave up before it actually came to you, I'm going to explain intervals of time and how that all works with manifesting in the law of assumption, the law of attraction, how that all works with the intervals of time. So don't give up on your manifestations, whether you're creating something, it, it all it is all related to the conception of yourself and your understanding of what consciousness is. And the more you can understand what consciousness is and that you're living in an illusion, the faster you can change the concept of yourself because you are limitless at that point. Because once you understand that reality isn't real, and that it's artificial, you can change your concept of yourself instantly. And when you can get better at that, then you can start creating things instantly. Once you can get to that level of, of consciousness where you understand what consciousness is and how this is an illusion, the 3D world, that's when you can create instantly. So the moment you can learn all that, the moment you can absorb all that and unfold into your own belief system in consciousness of what, uh, what consciousness is, then that's when you go to the next level. So I'm going to break down failure and what we're doing and why we're failing. And, it, and it's all involved with Neville Goddard's the power of awareness, the failure. And I'm going to break all that down in this chapter, guys. So let's have some fun. Let's jump right in. It. I'm going to give you my narr narration as always, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this chapter 24 failure power of awareness by Neville Goddard. All right. This book would not be complete without some discussion of failure in the attempted use of the law of assumption. He's referring to the entire book of the power of awareness. Okay, so it is entirely possible that you either have had or will have a number of failures in this respect, many of them important matters. If having read this book, having a thorough knowledge of the application and working of the law of assumption, you faithfully apply it, in an effort to attain some intense desire and fail, what is the reason? What is the reason you're failing? To this question, did you persist enough? Did you persist enough? You can answer yes to that question, and still the attainment of your desire was not realized. What is the reason for failure? The answer to this is the most important factor in the successful use of the law of assumption. The time it takes your assumption to become fact your desire to be fulfilled is directly proportionate to the naturalness of your feeling of already being what you want to be. All right, guys, I'm going to repeat that one more time. This is really, really important. I'm going to hit on this very, very hard with you guys. The time it takes your assumption to become fact. So the thing you're manifesting, whatever you're trying to create, whether it's visual, you're visualizing, whether you're affirming, whether you're whispering, whatever methods or techniques you're using. The answer to this is the most important factor in the successful use of the law of assumption. The time it takes your manifestation to come into your 3D world, your desire to be fulfilled, is directly proportionate to the naturalness of your feel feeling of already being what you want to be or whatever you're visualizing. So the concept of yourself, the version of yourself, your identity, your personality must be lined up with the manifestation. So on the same frequency. So you have to raise that. And we're going to go through different steps where what I talked about in the beginning of this video is figuring out or understanding what consciousness is. The world that you're living in is an illusion. It's not real. The real world is the psychological world within. And when you absolutely get that down to your core and understand that, that's when you no longer need a sequence, a logical sequence of events for in order for you to believe something, like change your concept of self, you can instantly change your concept of self once you understand what consciousness is and studying the power of awareness and studying quantum physics and just going over this and actually just studying this every day. Don't let it slip by. Do it every single day. Watch these videos. Study all Neville Goddard's books, quantum physics, many different authors that go over this and just understanding what consciousness is. That way you don't need a logical sequence of events in order to change the concept of yourself. But let's go ahead before I go off any further into my tangent there. All right, so the answer to this, we already did that. Okay, so to the naturalness of the feeling of already being, okay, so of already having your desire. All right, so the fact that is that it does not feel natural to you to be what you imagine yourself to be is the secret of your failure. So it doesn't feel natural to you. That means that you're not lining up with the proper frequency to for, to allow the manifestation to come into your life, whatever that may be. Okay, so regardless of your desire, 
regardless of how faithfully and intelligently you follow the law, if you do not feel natural about what you want to be, you will not be it. It does not. If it does not feel natural to you to get a better job, you will not get a better job. The whole principle is vividly expressed by the Bible phrase, you die in your sins. John 8, 24. You do not transcend from your present level to the state desired. How can this feeling of naturalness be achieved? The secret lies in one word, imagination. The secret lies in imagination. For example, this is a very simple illustration right here. All right, guys, that you are imagine or assume that you are securely chained to a large, heavy iron bench. You could not possibly run, of course, in the 3D world if you chained up. Okay, but in fact, you couldn't even walk. In these circumstances, it would not be natural for you to run in the 3D world if you were chained up. Okay, so you could not even feel that it was natural for you to run, but you could easily imagine yourself running. Okay, so in your imagination, in that instance, while your consciousness is filled with your imagined running, you have forgotten that you are bound. In imagination, your running was completely natural. Okay, so the essential feeling of naturalness can be achieved by persistently filling your consciousness with imagination. Imagining yourself being what you want to be or having what you desire. Okay, so constantly, constantly filling your consciousness with imagination. Imagining yourself being what you want to be. So do this all day long. So if it's something that you want, you're trying to create a new relationship or you're trying to create $30 million, study or keep keep this, that feeling in your consciousness all day long. Set alarms, set reminders, do everything you have to do and keep assuming, but don't focus on the thing because we've gone over this. Don't actually focus on the $3 million that you want. Focus on the feeling of the awareness of already having it, what that feeling would be like. That's the feeling you want to instantly sustain all day long is the feeling like filling your consciousness with imagination, imagining yourself being what you want to be and what you're having or what you desire. Progress can spring only from your imagination, from your desire to transcend your present level. What you truly and literally must feel is that with your imagination, all things are possible. That's why that's what exactly what I was talking about, guys, with consciousness, understanding what consciousness consciousness is and this illusion that you're living in right here he talks about it what you truly and literally must feel is that with your imagination all things are possible and once you understand that the 3d world that you're living in is an illusion that it's not real that it's artificial that it's a high tech it's a simulated high tech simulated game that's all we're living in right now guys and when you can understand that you will know that all things are possible that's what breaks you free that's what breaks you free from the limiting factors that you think that you have in your 3D world because none of it's real. When you can, right here, when you can burn that truth, literally you must feel this all the way down. The truly and literally must feel that this is with your imagination, that all things are possible. You must realize that changes are not caused by caprice, but by a change of consciousness. You may fail to achieve or sustain that particular state of consciousness necessary to produce the effect you desire. But once you know that consciousness is the one and only reality, here it is. But once you know that consciousness is the one and only reality and is the sole creator of your particular world and have burnt this truth into your whole being, then you know that success or failure is entirely in your hands. Okay, Whether or not you are disciplined enough to sustain the required state of consciousness in specific instances has no bearing on the truth of the law itself. Whether or not you are disciplined enough to sustain the required state of consciousness or the feeling in specific instances has no bearing on the truth of the law itself. That an assumption, if persisted in, will harden into fact. It has no it has no choice. All right. The certainty of the truth of this law must remain despite great disappointment and tragedy, even when you see the light of life go out and all the world go on as though it were still day. You must not believe that because your assumption failed to materialize, the truth that assumptions do not materialize is a lie. If your assumptions are not fulfilled, it is because of some error or weakness in your consciousness. 
All right. However, these errors and weaknesses can be overcome. These errors and weaknesses can be overcome. Therefore, press on to the attainment of higher levels by feeling that you are already the person you want to be. Start feeling these ever higher levels by feeling that they that you are already the person you want to be. All right, guys. So naturalness of being it. Man surrounds himself with the true image of himself. Every spirit builds itself a house and beyond its house, a world and beyond its world, a heaven. Know then that the world exists for you. For you, the phenomena is perfect. What we are, that only can we see. All that Adam had, all that Caesar could, you have and can do. Adam called his house heaven and earth. Caesar called his house Rome. You perhaps call yours the cobbler's trade, a hundred acres of land or a scholar's garret. Yet, line for line and point for point, your dominion is as great as theirs. Though without fine name, build therefore your own world as fast as you conform your life to the pure idea in your mind that will unfold in great proportion. Emerson. All right, guys, I want to give you a little recap of this, of what I think is the most important part of this chapter. And it's right here. And it's the essential feeling of naturalness can be achieved by persistently filling your consciousness with imagination of the feeling of your wish fulfilled. So constantly constantly persist in filling your consciousness with the feeling of your desire as already being complete. So whatever it is you're trying to create, whether it's be $3 million, $30 million, a new relationship, a new, a new career, a new house, a new car, whatever it is that you're trying to create, imagine it, imagine it in your mind real quick, like throughout the day, be, have these little split images through your mind and create like a small clip that you can keep coming back to all day long, set reminders, set alarms, things like that. Constantly fill yourself with that image because once you see the image, once you feel and enter the image, the feeling will be automatic and you'll be sustaining that, but you need to sustain that. You need to actually persist and be completely absorbed in that feeling all the time. And that will transform your conception or your version of yourself or your identity will raise your identity so that naturalness that he's talking about is going to come and you're going to have the naturalness so the thing that you're manifesting is going to be rightfully yours at that point because now you have lined your frequencies up okay so that's that's what i think is the most important part of this chapter is just lining yourself up filling and filling yourself your consciousness with the feeling of the thing desired like constantly so constantly be reminding yourself constantly be having that awareness of the thing of already having the thing desired like constantly constantly what would that feel like and then have that image and then keep coming back to it all day long and then you'll have it it's no you're not going to fail no one you can never fail if you do that do not blame the law if there is a weakness it's anywhere in your consciousness of the the discipline and being persistent and filling your consciousness with the desired feeling all right guys love you guys and give me one thing you guys are grateful for in the comment box below and i will see you guys tomorrow thank